Hello, hi guys. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I'm Papa, but then. <laughs> guys welcome to my youtube channel for those of you who are seeing this face for the very first time my name is bongile kumalo also known as b and you can follow me on instagram at bongile underscore kumalo and to my returning subbies the diy haunts thank you so much for tuning in welcome back once again we have another diy video but before we get into that please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i decide to get busy with the diys anyway today's diy guys is nothing huge it's gonna be just a short video i'll be showing you how i made i'm just gonna insert pictures i'm gonna show you how i made um this um it's a cutting board and a short tray yeah a wooden short tray and also a kitchen towel holder yeah that's right we all know how this expensive how expensive these things are kitchen utensils are so expensive expensive i don't understand why a wooden cutting board is so expensive especially those chic nice looking ones the ones for which we don't normally use for cutting but for decorating i don't know why they're so expensive but then i was like <clears throat> i've been meaning to get all the different shapes and whatnot not all but mm, like the round ones um like different shapes just for decor and whatnot but then every time i went into store and i was like nah this is expensive and i do have a cotton board so just for putting it there in the kitchen and does nothing like nah not wasting my coins on that then i had scrap wood pine wood one that i was using for my bad tray i decided you know what let me not let it let this get into waste so i took that and i made this three items and the kitchen towel holder i actually used um I broke and mop because I was planning on going to buy a, a towel but then I had a mop that was broken so I took the other piece and used that instead yes so anything you have like you know scrap wood will save you like all those small pieces of wood that you have after a project are gonna make a whole lot of difference for such tiny projects that's what I've discovered so please if you do have just smaller yana pieces of wood lying around look at it and be like what can i make out of this that's what i did that's how i made these three items and i really really love them they're not perfect but i love them i am satisfied with what i did and it was my first time using a jigsaw so that's one thing you're going to need for such um the only tools that i used were a jigsaw i don't think i'm going to list anything down because i don't have any uh cut list um it's just shapes so i only used a jigsaw a dish for making the circle you can use any round object you can use your compass you can use anything just to make the circle anything that you have i use the dish and you also just need um other than your jigsaw i also used my treater um for the short tray so i can create those circles and just um my sander an electric sander and you're gonna do a whole lot of sanding because you need that wood to look clean and soft and like you need it to be properly sanded I was using an electric center but i was so so tired oh my little brother was helping me out but it was just so tiring so if you don't have an electric center you can go in with your sending paper or sending what's that sending square box whatever but then yeah it's gonna be so tiring it's gonna be an exercise but you can use that you don't have to go and buy an electric center just for this if you don't have one unless you're planning on doing more diys then invest in one it's gonna help you because i hate sanding i don't know about you but i hate sanding so it's just it's, it's just one necessary it's necessary but it's just yeah and i also used what else did i use 
I also used stain. Pretty much that's all that I used. A jigsaw, my driller um, with the circular drill bit, um, my sander, and then um, a dish and pencil, and pencil for marking, and also a ruler and stain. Yeah, I used two types of stain, um, but both are crepsal stains. I used um, the black one, which is ebony, and I used the brown one, which is mahogany. Those are the two stains that I used, and I also used a brush and a cloth for staining and painting because, um, yeah, you will see all that in the video. So please do um, watch this video and let me know how it is. Please do enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Please, 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 it will mean a lot to me. Please do subscribe and please do enjoy the videos. I have another exciting DIY coming up soon. So stay tuned and let's just get into it. <laughs>
Thank you.